I tried fasting, but after a while, I figured out my inner peace is in the fridge, which is more important. When you start fasting, by lunchtime even the grocery list seems delicious. But do we even know what the hell it is? To speak scientifically, fasting means taking no calories for a set period, a few hours every day or sometimes for an entire day. It's up to you. People fast for a variety of reasons, but the main reason for most of them is not to be fat anymore. Well, it has positive effects on risks. Positive effects are promoting heart health, better blood sugar control, and weight loss. The risks include feeling tired and irritable, particularly when you start, and having migraine headaches. Also, people with certain health factors should avoid fasting. Most of you should be curious about the best fasting method. The 16-8 method is popular because most people already fast while they sleep. So it is convenient to fast while sleeping and skipping breakfast and having an early lunch. First meal at 11 a.m. and your last meal at 7 p.m. or 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. There are some rules in it. Keep fasting periods short, eat a small amount on fast days, stay hydrated, go for walks or meditate, don't break fast with a feast, stop fasting if you feel unwell, eat enough protein, eat plenty of whole foods on non-fasting days, and keep exercise mild. These are just some of them. Some people are forbidden to fast. It is not recommended during pregnancy or breastfeeding. In youths who are going or with anyone who has a history of any kinds of eating disorders, you can do other diets that we will discuss in our upcoming videos. As we mentioned, some people fast for a few days. Isn't it dangerous? Well, longer periods without food, such as 24, 36, 48, and 72 hour fasting periods, are not necessarily better for you. And yes, they can be dangerous. Also, it can have the opposite result and make your body start storing more fat in response to starvation. Fasting is not always good. It can result in many negative physical and mental consequences. Feelings of extreme hunger to headaches, lightheadedness, digestive problems, mood changes, fatigue, low energy, and sleep disturbances. Medical experts agree that a one-day fast can feel great, but extending beyond three days? It's a big no. If it lasts more than three days, it can cause harm, especially with having other medical conditions, such as diabetes or heart disease. As scientists say, a fast longer than a day or two can deplete vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes. Don't use this as a not exercise, because it is completely safe to lift weights while intermittent fasting. But do not overdo it, moderation is important, guys. According to the nutrition experts, switching between fasting and eating again can cause a lot of health benefits such as weight loss and reducing belly fat. But it is important to eat healthy, limiting sugary desserts and processed foods to get the nutrients you need while losing belly fat. Now, let's check the foods that are safe. If it doesn't have calories, it won't break fast. Coffee, tea, and non-caloric sweeteners are some of them. Also, intermittent calorie restriction or even just a significant calorie restriction is a perfect form of fasting. There is a rumor out there about fasting that it can slow aging. It's not a rumor, it is what fasting does. Well, kinda. This diet reduced prediabetes markers and signs of aging by 2.5 years. Five days cycle each month of a fasting-like diet improved markers of prediabetes and reduced fat in the liver. People following this diet also showed signs of reduced immune system aging and biological age. Fasting is a fast way to get fit, but if you want to do this, make sure its benefits are more than its drawbacks for you. Consulting with your healthcare provider before starting it is recommended. Thank you for joining us. We will talk about other diets in the upcoming videos. So don't forget to like this one and subscribe to our channel to be aware of them. May your journey be with fasting bring you joy and well-being.